Hey party people, Techno here, and in this video we're going to take another look at one of the challenges from the Cyber Apocalypse CTF from this year, from Hacked Box. And the challenge we're looking at in this video is called an unusual sighting. It is an, a very easy challenge from the forensic section, and this is one where we have both a container to interact with as well as a set of files to download. So first off, let's go ahead and unzip the files from an unusual sighting and see what we have. And it looks like we have a bash history.txt file here as well as an sshd log. Now let's go ahead and connect to that container over netcat. And we're going to see that we are greeted with the title and the description of the challenge here. So this is uh, stating that as the preparations come to an end and the fray draws near each day, our newly established team started working on refactoring the new CMS application for the competition. However, after some time, we noticed that a lot of our work mysteriously has been disappearing. We managed to extract the SSH logs and the bash history from our dev server in question. The faction that manages to uncover the perpetrator will have a massive bonus come the competition. And then we have a note here. Operating hours of Corp are from 9 in the morning, 0900, to 1900, so 7 p.m. Um, that's going to be relevant here as we go through. And then we also have another note that all timestamps will be in the format that they appear in the logs. That's nice. And then we have a question. So this looks like another one of the questionnaire type challenges that we've had a couple of. And the first question is, what is the IP address and port of the SSH server in the format of IP colon port? Well, let's jump to the SSH logs and see if we can figure that one out. Looking through here, we can see that just a couple lines down, we have a connection from an IP in port on 100.107.36.130 and port 2221. So that more than likely is the server IP and port in question. So let's just copy that IP, come back over here, drop that in, and then we'll do the colon 2221 for the port. And we have a correct on that one. So then we have a question of what time is the first successful login? Once again, back to those SSH logs, and let's just look for an accepted uh, connection here. And the first one that I see is this accepted password for root. And then we have the timestamp here. Let's just go ahead and grab that, minus those braces. Copy that out and drop that in our questionnaire. Correct. What is the time of the unusual login? So what login would be unusual? Well, that comes back to this note here, operating hours of corp being from 9 to 1900. Perhaps an unusual login would be incurring outside of those hours. So if we go past business hours here and look for anything that would be unusual, we can see that we do have some very early morning logins here at 4 a.m. and in fact an accepted password for root at this timestamp. So I'm going to go ahead and say that that is more than likely our unusual login. And that is correct. And then we have a question of what is the fingerprint of the attacker's public key? So that is something that again we're going to go back to the SSH log and we have failed public key for root right here in the line above that password ex uh, accepted password. So let's go ahead and grab this, copy that out, and bring it back over here to get a correct answer. What is the first command that the attacker executed after logging in? So now we're going to pivot over to that bash history file and we're going to try to line up those timestamps. So we can see right here we're in the same general time frame, that four in the morning, and it looks like the first command that gets run at that point is a who am I? So somebody got access to the server, wanted to know who or what account they were running as. So we got who am I? What is the final command the attacker executed before logging out? So let's just reference when the logout time was disconnecting, and that was 438.17 according to the SSHD log. So let's go ahead and cross-reference that with the bash history log here, and it looks like the last command that was run was executing this setup uh, command. 
So let's come back here and say setup. And that's it. So just a couple of questions in working with those logs. We produce the flag, best of luck in the fray. And that takes care of this challenge. So nothing too terribly difficult there. It is a very easy challenge after all, but a good way to get into the set of forensics problems. So that's it for this video. We're going to keep looking at some of these challenges from the Cyber Apocalypse CTF. Until next time, thanks for watching, everybody. I do truly appreciate it. And take care. I will catch you later.